What's going on, boys and girls? Tomorrow is my 60th birthday, and I get to eat whatever the heck I want to eat, which I eat whatever the heck I want to eat anyway. But tomorrow, I'm going to have me some hog malls and some chitlins, you know. I, I have chitlins maybe twice a year on my birthday, and I'll have them at New Year. So um, don't start talking a bunch of junk. You're going to have high blood pressure. You're going to have all this. You're going to have that. This is my treat it's my birthday. I'm turning 60. I'm getting old. Nah, you're only as old as you feel. Anyway, this is a simple recipe, guys. We're going to be using the can cooker. You've seen me use the can cooker. It's almost like a pressurized type of cooking. Um, and it's just, it's supposed to uh, allow you to cook your foods a little bit faster. Because, you know, cooking chitlins, unless you do it in a pressure cooker, it's normally, you know, and we're, and I keep saying chitlins, we're, we're cooking hog malls. Hog malls are what we're cooking today. Now, I've got some pre-prepared chitlins that I'm going to mix in with them, but we're actually, the video is about how to make hog malls. But, you know, a lot of folks kind of say the things uh, together, so we're going to be making some hog malls. So, you guys, sit back, relax. Alrighty, y'all. There's the star of our show, our hog malls. That's just a single pack here. Um, and, and usually they come pretty clean, but you still wash these things just because, you know, they're organ, organ meat. I'll leave a lot of the fat up there just because it gives it a lot of flavor. We're going to be using some chitlin seasoning, and this stuff is really good. They, they've kind of got vinegar impregnated in with it. We're going to use a little bit of lemon juice. going to use some apple cider vinegar. going to use some hot sauce. you got to have hot sauce when you're making chitlins. going to use some garlic. going to use an onion. going to use a bell pepper, and we're going to use some Mediterranean seasonings. Now, as far as as far as the seasonings, you don't have to use you don't have to use the Mediterranean seasonings. You really don't have to use the um, chitlin seasoning. You can just use salt and pepper. And um, I've just recently started doing the onions and peppers in uh, my chitlins, and it really does give it a different type of taste. So let's get those cooked up. Oh, this is the can cooker. Again, it cooks like a pressure cooker. You put your you, you're not supposed to put as much water in there. Um, um, what what it does is it comes to a boil and then you latch it down and the steam vents through this little hole right here so again um, they recommend that you put at least 12 ounces but no more than 36 ounces of water now I'm gonna use some chicken broth um, instead of water y'all I said it, I was gonna use water but I'm gonna use some chicken broth so make sure that if you got a lot of salt that you put in these things that you use a little bit less salt these um, hog malls will absorb a lot of salt, so you'll find yourself adding more salt to it anyway. Alrighty, so I've got about three cups of of chicken broth in there. You don't want to, you only want to cook this on medium. You don't want to go any higher than medium right here. So we're going to add our chicken broth in there. We're going to add our malls to the liquid. Going to add our onions and bell peppers, and then we're going to add our garlic. Again, that's one onion, one medium-sized onion, one medium-sized bell pepper. Now, that's about two heaping tablespoons of minced garlic. All right, so we're going to put two teaspoons of our chitlin seasoning and two teaspoons of our Mediterranean seasoning. And again, you don't have to use the Mediterranean seasonings. If you like different types of seasonings, you can use those. We're going to go with about two, tea two tablespoons of lemon juice. Not a whole lot, about two or so. We're gonna go with about three to four tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Now you can add more to that. And then we're gonna put some hot sauce in there. Alrighty, and I put about three tablespoons of, of hot sauce. Now guys, I can tell you, you're gonna probably have to add some more because again, those malls are gonna absorb a whole lot of this, um, a lot of this stuff that we put up there. All right, we're going to give it a little bit of a stir and we're going to put our lid on. So we put our lid on and then we give it a little bit of a lock it down. And then we'll bring this up to a boil until steam starts to come out of this little port right here. And then we'll turn it down so that we just have a little sizzle coming out there. All right, it's been about three hours and 30 seconds. And these are actually pretty tender now, y'all. So it does make a difference because it would have taken them probably six hours, five and a half, six hours or so. And these are nice and tender. Mmm, very good. So I'm going to mix them up with some chitlins that were pre-made. 
I just wanted to get these done here just because, you know, I really, I could have one serving of chitlins, but I want, I want chitlins for a second day. You know what I mean? Because I just love these things. I know a lot of folks don't like them because they're pig intestines, but I can think of a whole lot of worth things that can happen in my life besides eating some pig intestines. So, you know what I mean? So anyway, that's it, y'all. This this is cooking the hog malls in the can cooker. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll probably make a last little part up here, but like it, share it, add it to your favorites, uh, hit the little bell notifications if if you're on certain profiles or or however you you receive your information so that you can see more of my videos. Do it wherever you are because I'm on several platforms, so we won't go into the the different details, but. Hope you enjoyed this. Peace.